All right, this will be the last video on um, on this subject, which is the kit. Um, I went and got the power supply um, that gets is that is part of the kit. There'll be pigtails um, for the power. This power supply originally was supplying the fan current directly. Now I take the fan current off the uh, motherboard. So this, this pigtail will not be there. And this pigtail may or may not have a head on it because normally you uh, solder these two wires right to the AC um, input line uh, when you mount everything. So you really don't need, uh, you'd be cutting that off anyway. And I normally just will be, I'll be for providing just two wires connected to the AC line. And they will be labeled. I'll have tape uh, or something on there that will label them. So that's the 12 volt power supply. I'm not using it here for this demonstration. I'm using the Vampire module as I had said earlier. All right, so I connected the scope probe to both the coil. So what I did there is just plug in a, a little uh, plug that are hot and connected uh, channel one of the coil um, firing output to channel one on the scope or this probe to channel one on scope and channel two is over here and you can see the probe I'm sort of pointing to it now and that's connected right across the output of the cap so I, I normally check and see what the voltages are and just see how the signal looks and once I see what I see I immediately know whether I have a hundred percent functioning unit unit and I'm all done 99.9 .9 percent of the time occasionally there's a little snafu and I fix it and then we're done so I'm going to press the start button, the on and off button right there, and you'll get to see a couple of wave patterns on the scope in the background. And there they are. You see the stair casing, um, and that is the cap being charged under Arduino control in stages. And I do it that way so I don't suck um, um, <laughs> all the current from your wall outlet instantaneously to charge a cap. It's called phase charging. Uh, I charge it in phase on the AC cycle, um, which has been uh, rectified. Um, I, I turn around and I um, charge. I, I take a small slice of that cycle and throw it into the cap, and then take another small part of that cycle and throw it into the cap. And it takes a few uh, cycles to get the cap fully charged. And then I discharge it. And you can see the pulse on channel 1, how quickly that pulse discharges. Of course, I can open it up a little bit and spread everything out. But now you can't see this, the complete staircasing of the cap, but it's staircasing up. And you can see how that pulse uh, rises instantaneously up to the coil, and then it falls off rather dramatically. Now, okay, so that's pretty much the presentation. Um, I'm selling this in a kit form only. There'll be a PDF saying uh, that'll talk about all the parts that are included in the kit. And I've already explained or I made the statement. I'll make it one more time. I don't have the time to build these things completely. But I don't mind wiring things up on a printed circuit board that I've designed. Uh, it goes pretty easy. And I don't mind checking it out. But uh, putting it in the case, mounting it, and so forth, it's just too much time considering all the other projects that I want to uh, do. Um, I've already started work on my plasma ball project. And I've got a feeling that that's just going to knock people over when they see what I've got going there. Um, so that's my project, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Everybody have a very nice day, and um, maybe we'll catch it by email or possibly a phone conversation.